John Cramsey appeared in court earlier this week. Last June, New Jersey police pulled him over outside the Holland Tunnel. This distinctive truck stopped by police for a cracked windshield, but inside, an arsenal of weapons found. Cramsey told the cops that he was an anti-heroin activist and that he was going to Brooklyn to save a young girl from a drug den. Vice News went to meet Cramsey a few weeks after his supporters bailed him out. Take the scenic tour through Allentown. Show you where the heart of this cancer lays. The building here is where my baby girl was found. One floor down from the top. Last February, John Cramsey's 20-year-old daughter, Alexandria, died of a heroin overdose. I buried my baby girl back in February, 20 years old. We're burying you kids way too quick. You have to save your generation before we lose them. I'd just say that I was chosen by God to do a mission that nobody else would do. Yeah, I firmly believe that when I speak to one of these strangers, it's my daughter that comes out of me. Her voice is what echoes through these kids' heads. ATI pistol, 556. Five, After his daughter's death, Cramsey sought revenge against all heroin dealers. He owned a gun range and began posting threatening photos of himself in tactical gear. I posted on Facebook to all the active users in the area, turn in your dealer to me. If I can get him to spend one night in jail, I will give you $100. I posted things on my Facebook to intimidate these guys. I wanted them to know that I was an angry dad. Don't worry about the blue and red lights coming down the street after you. Worry about us angry dads. My truck had decals on it. It was shoot your local heroin dealer. Was I out shooting my local heroin dealer? No. None of them were ever found in an alley or a ditch or in a river around my neighborhood. But they fired people up. It made people angry. Overdoses in the U.S. from opioid painkillers and heroin have quadrupled since 1999. Oh. Now, an average of 78 Americans die from these drugs every day. Places like Lehigh County, where Cramsey lives, mostly white, working-class suburban and rural areas, have been at the center of the epidemic. Andrew Miller is one of the first people Cramsey says he helped when he began his anti-heroin campaign. Um, I started doing pills when I was 17. I was doing heroin. Andrew recently relapsed and called on Cramsey again. Cramsey brought Andrew to Hope Against Heroin. Thank How you. How long have you been clean? Two days now. Okay. Do you feel hopeful? Yeah. yeah. Today. Today? Yeah. Yeah. What is it about today that's making me feel hopeful? This guy right here. Absolutely. Love you, brother. Love you too, man. Told you it'd work out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. So my mom told me to call him because my mom had seen about him on Facebook. And I called him and I met him like a half hour later and like an hour later, he had me in a rehab. He, he does wonders, man. There is a large portion of our society that is grieving, um, that has lost a loved one. Um, you know, John has called my office multiple times with individuals sitting in his car. So I believe John is looking to save as many people as he can. Cramsey told us that he'd take us on a rescue mission at a seedy motel, but it never happened. We filmed with him for three days, and he didn't kick down any doors. He spent most of the time on his phone. Cramsey has a Rambo complex. He wants to be a hero. He was doing directly was a glorified taxi service. He would take people on occasion to a rehab and, and drop them off. There's millions of people that actually truly save lives, and people that are true heroes. They don't go out seeking glory for it. He's not a grieving father. He's a guilty father. He's doing this out of guilt because he knows he's never been there and because it's giving him attention. He's a narcissist seeking attention. I mean, look at him. Look what he did. Look at the Holland Tunnel. Who does that? Cramsey well, says he regrets not spending uh, more not time with his daughter. He's been charged with 63 counts, yes. including transporting loaded weapons and faces up to 10 years in prison. He's entered a non-guilty plea and says he'll continue with his anti-heroin campaign. This is a plague. This is killing everything in its path. If you don't burn a wall in the brush line, it's gonna take everything. 